Hi guys, thanks for checking out the video. Steve Buzzer here, and today I'm talking about getting the distance correct from the ball to you. And how can we have a procedure, so I'm gonna give you a kind of a drill slash procedure to get into the right place every time, but more importantly, give you the opportunity to get in the right place with all the different clubs, because that's why it can be confusing in golf. We have, you know, if we ignore the putter, we have 13 different configurations that we need. And if you get a bit confused with those, and um, you might feel confident with certain clubs, feel unconfident with other clubs, just because you're not 100% sure you're in the right place, rather than actually that club is harder to hit. So first things first, I want you to use this definition um, hands to body is what we're defining as getting in the right place from the ball. We're not using golf ball to feet or club head to feet. And the reason for that is the hand to body relationship stays consistent across the clubs. This doesn't stay consistent because each club is a slightly different length. And you might be watching this and going, well, that's how I do it. I just kind of work out how far away. If you're having success doing that, you don't need this. This is for the person that is feeling uncomfortable. Um, we need to put some consistency in there. The consistency is found in an area that is actually stays consistent. So we're talking this relationship. So how do we know that relationship is correct? Um, very, very simple drill. So I want you to set up to the ball, and all you do is let your trail hand float. Comes off of the club. Comes off of the club. Nice and relaxed arm. It comes off, it should float and go back to where it should be. So that is a sign that you're in the correct position. If we're standing too far away, that hand is gonna drop in. If we're standing too close, it's gonna get over. So what we can do is use this relationship. It should be the same for all the clubs. So let's say I'm feeling a little nervous on the course. I've got a great round going and that little voice turns up. Mr. or Mrs. Brain goes, by the way, I think you're in the wrong place. You know, I bet you can't relate to that thought. Can you see? You go, I think I'm in the wrong place. You check, I'm spot on. It means you can get rid of that thought and get back to hitting great shots. So it's a great little tool under pressure just to confirm. A lot of the time with ball position, especially when we're talking distance away from us, it's um, the fear of being wrong rather than actually the problem itself. And a lot of the time when there isn't a problem, but the brain switches on and says there is, um, it puts us into limbo. We're like, should I make a change to satisfy the thought? Or can I kind of dismiss the thought? This is the way we can kind of find the solution. Oh, I feel a bit tight. Oh, actually, I am standing too far away. Gives you the chance to reset. I find more times than not, oh, I'm, in, I'm in a great place. You know, I'm where I am when I practice. Let's get back to hitting great shots. So um, I hope this video has helped. Super simple but sometimes the simple ones are the ones that hold up under pressure. The simple ideas are the ones that have the biggest influence on our scoring potential out on the golf course. So, thanks for watching. Get some comments down below. Are you somebody that has done this or had another system to not only standing correctly, but standing correctly for the different golf clubs? You know, find a way to incorporate the different lengths. You know, let me know. And as always, stay happy, stay safe, and I hope to catch you soon.